Despite the high demand for engineers globally, competition remains fierce. Whether you're seeking your first engineering job or aiming to advance your career, crafting a compelling CV or resume is essential. A well-written CV that highlights your key skills and achievements can significantly improve your chances of catching a recruiter's attention. Applicant tracking software, known as ATS, is also a crucial component of the modern job application process. When you submit your CV or resume to a company's job portal, the ATS parses your document, extracting relevant information such as work experience, skills and education. It then compares your qualifications with the job requirements, assigning a score based on the match. This score determines whether your application progresses to the next stage or gets filtered out. Tailoring your CV to meet the specific requirements of each recruiter will greatly enhance your likelihood of securing an interview. So what makes a job-winning engineering CV? Some of this may seem obvious, but let's start with the basics. A clear, well-organised CV is easier for recruiters to read and understand. Start with a professional format that includes the following sections. Contact information, a professional summary, hard and soft skills, experience, education and any certifications and licences. Your professional summary should be a snapshot of your most impressive achievements and skills. Tailor this section to each job application, focusing on what makes you a perfect fit for the role. Mention your years of experience, specific areas of expertise and notable accomplishments that align with the job description. A big mistake is to create a single CV and use that over and over again to apply for different engineering roles. A generic CV will likely miss essential details, keywords or other information to pass the applicant tracking software stage. While keeping a document of your skills and experience is a good idea, it's important to tailor this template to the job. Analyse the job description and essential and desirable skills and ensure your professional summary, skills, experience and education include these points with the exact keywords. When listing your work experience, follow these guidelines. Job titles and dates. Clearly state your job title and the dates you were employed. Responsibilities and achievements. Use bullet points to describe your key responsibilities and achievements in each role. Back up your accomplishments with specific metrics and measurements where possible. Some ideas include, did your work result in cost saving or any other achievement? Did you implement something new or innovative such as a process or product? Did your work achieve impressive results, such as revenue or turnaround time? Or did you use additional training to achieve something you couldn't have done otherwise? Showcase your education and certifications. List your educational background in reverse chronological order, starting with your most recent degree. Include the name of the institution, degree obtained and graduation date. Also mention any relevant coursework projects or honours if you're lacking experience. You should also showcase any professional certifications or licenses you hold, such as being a chartered engineer. These can set you apart from other candidates and sometimes are even a requirement of the job. Include key projects. If you have worked on significant engineering projects, create a separate section to highlight these. Include the project name, your role, the technologies you used and the outcome. This is particularly important for jobs that ask for very specific experience. A common trait of engineers in any industry is good organisation skills, attention to detail and structural accuracy. If your CV is poorly formatted and hard to read, this already shows a lack of these crucial skills. Your CV will almost certainly go through the applicant tracking software first, where software will scan your CV for the right keywords for the role and score your CV before a human even sees it. To maximise your chances of passing this check, ensure your CV is formatted simply. Unless you are applying for a job that requires visuals, don't include graphics or images. Use consistent fonts and apply headers where possible and ensure you are submitting your CV in the format requested by the recruiter. Hard skills are learned through training or work, practical things you can do. Soft skills are broad and are more about who you are and how you handle situations. Employers often look for strong communication and interpersonal skills, this includes communication with colleagues, employers or clients. With the added technical and safety issues that engineering roles typically require, conveying information accurately is critical. Creative and critical thinking are core skills for the engineering industry. 
Technical projects often require developing new ideas to solve issues as they arise by adapting your workflow or suggesting new methods to fix a problem. Problem solving skills can be developed over time as your experience grows. Once you're comfortable with your skills, you can explore how to apply that knowledge in new ways. Employers value those who can identify problems and come up with multiple ways to solve them quickly and on a budget. Some organisational skills such as document control and managing systems can be considered technical, but engineering companies are also looking for soft organisation skills, which indicate if a person can complete their job with minimal support. These skills include setting realistic goals, planning and prioritising tasks and ensuring you can identify your limits in workload. Being able to work in a team is a combination of communication, technical and organisation skills. Engineers will often work alone within their roles, but will coordinate with colleagues on larger projects and employers are looking for people who are committed to achieving team and business goals. Being able to compromise, share ideas and support other people with your skill set is considered mandatory for an engineer. Your CV should reflect that you are experienced and considerate of working with others for a collective aim. Adapting to new processes and technology is highly desirable to an employer. It's important that engineers actively keep their skills and knowledge up to date. While leadership might be considered a skill only applicable to management roles, taking responsibility and supporting others is an essential soft skill for an engineer. Demonstrating leadership might be spearheading a new idea, taking responsibility for an in-work society or initiative, or organising work or systems on behalf of a colleague and providing training. Leadership is a strong indicator of an individual who can support others when needed. It is a critical skill for individuals looking to advance their careers, move up into management and demonstrate a broader understanding of company strategy. A well-crafted CV is crucial for engineers as it serves as the first impression potential employers have of your skills, experience and suitability for a role. Head to anyaspercroft.com where you can view all our open vacancies, register your CV with us and take the next step towards an exciting career in engineering. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe to our channel, like this video and follow us on LinkedIn at Benny S. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.